So um, <laughs> so Raya, finally you are here. Welcome to the Brass Universe. Thank you. <laughs> so um um, I want to say congratulations to you, and also you are part of the Brat family now. So welcome to the Brat family as well. Thank you, thank you, and thanks for having me today. I really appreciate it. I'm excited. Yeah. So um, how are you doing? I'm really good. Um, I had a busy day, but a very fun day. Wow, wow, wow. How are you so, doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, so tell us how you know how did you get to play Bailey in on Chicken Girl season ten? Yes, so I auditioned for Bailey back at like end of June and then in July, mid July I found out I booked it. Wow, wow. Um you know, how how did you feel when you got when you got the part uh, you know on the series? Anyway, I I, I know how you feel, but I want to hear it from you because I've been I spent I spent the past two hours right now watching your vlog on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Which, which was it was it was so fun. I never lost uh, focus for even yeah, even the ending. The ending just made me cry a little, a little. Just a oh, little. thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> so, how did you feel when you got a part on the series? I was really, really happy. I was surprised because my manager called me and he was like, hey, so you got put on a rail for Chicken Girls. And I didn't really think much of it because as an actor, you get put on a rail for a lot of things and you don't book all those things. He called me about an hour later and he was like, hey, so you got the part. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, you got it. And I was like, ah, okay. Like, I was so happy um, because I didn't expect to get the part. Even when I auditioned for it, I was like, I don't know if I'm what they're looking for, but I guess I was, so that was really exciting. Wow, wow. That's, that's so amazing. So, can you tell us, um, what was your experience? Like, can you tell us a little bit about your experience about being on Brad TV's film set? Yeah, it was so much fun. First of all, it was so cool to see them transform the sets one day from like a cafeteria to a locker room. That was really cool to see them transform it because it's all the same set, one big set, but they change here and there. It was really cool. It was a really great environment. I felt really safe. I feel like I could make mistakes and nobody could judge me and everybody be really kind about it. I think it was a really great experience. You took us uh, behind the <laughs> scenes. Uh, I saw a lot of videos, a lot of behind the scenes on your, on your yeah. YouTube channel uh that's that's amazing I, I haven't seen any video like that before so yeah thanks. <laughs> yeah thanks for that thanks for well, taking us be the first one <laughs> <laughs> thanks for taking us behind the scenes of uh, you know brad yeah, tv's film set so um what do you like most about acting i like the fact that i feel like i can understand people better I'm already a very sensitive person and understanding person, but when I truly put myself in other people's shoes and think about how they feel, I take that with me in my daily life. I've, I'm very slow to react. So I take acting with me in my everyday life in terms of like thinking, putting myself in other people's shoes. So it makes me empathize with people better. And I love that part, exploring other people's lives and understanding. And then also it can just be really fun. Um, I feel like I get to explore different parts of myself as well as some parts that I didn't know were there because I didn't know they were inside of me. So I feel like there's different levels to acting that I personally really enjoy. And those are the main two. Okay, okay. Um, let me ask you this question. Uh, what do you yeah. feel? What do you feel is more important as uh, for an actor? Is it um, talent or training? I think training is more important because you know you can have natural talent, but I feel like if you're not exercising it or trying to get any better, I feel like training will always be talent any day. Hard work will always be talent because you have to exercise that talent. If you get too cocky, like oh I'm too talented, I don't need to practice, then you might end up regretting it in the end. So I feel like hard work will be talent any day. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, so um, do you, for you, do you take like acting classes? Or do you go um, to an acting right. school? I did go to an acting school, yes. Um, I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Wow. Yes, wow. it was my dream school, so I was really happy about that. <laughs> so um, who is your inspiration? My inspiration is my mom. Wow. 
awesome 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 so um what else do you like other than acting i play piano i played piano since i was seven so that's mm. one of my deep loves i really like basketball i played a long time four or five years i don't pay it as much but i'm still really passionate about it i played cello i played that since the fifth grade so i'm very musical and i like basketball <laughs> Cool, cool. Um, so how has the series, you know, Chicken Girls is um Chicken Girls is Brad TV's um biggest show ever. Yeah. So um how has the series affected your life so far? I feel like it's mainly affected my life in terms of one hearing from the fans, um, conversating with them. I that's not something I did before. I didn't really have too many people reaching out to me about that. And then secondly, the people I've met from Rat, I've met a lot of other people through them. So that's how it's affecting me and in a positive way. It's giving me more opportunities and helping me meet more friends. Mm, cool, cool. So, um, you know, Brad TV, being on Brad TV's uh, film set is so much, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Yeah. I can tell from your videos that you had, a, you had tons of fun. So, I um, did. <laughs> so what was your favorite thing about filming on Brat TV's film set? Ooh, my favorite thing about filming on Brat TV's set. That's going to be hard to choose. I know, right? I'm like, <laughs> ooh. I feel like, hmm. Ooh, there's so many options. I'm like, <laughs> let me think, let me think. I feel like the locker room was my favorite. Um, for one, to see the difference when it was put up and then when it wasn't really used. I like the locker room. I felt like there was so much you could do with it. And I don't know if you could see it on TV, but there's a lot of stuff written on the lockers. So I thought that was really funny. And I felt like that's where my character had a lot of stuff going on in the locker room. Yeah. So I feel like that was my favorite set and my favorite set being set up. So that was my favorite part of filming on set, the locker room. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, okay. So um, who is your celebrity crush? I have a lot, but I decided I'm gonna have to go with Jamie Smith. <laughs> <laughs> nice choice, nice choice, nice choice, nice choice. So, um, so, all right, tell us, um, what inspired you to, you know, to journey into acting and, or what made you realize it was the right part for you? Like, in during your during your video when i was watching your video on youtube you said a bunch of a bunch of stuff about how happy you are and you said that brad tv is acting on brad tv that this is your first uh, you know paid job paid not your yeah. first acting but first paid acting job so yes. what what inspired you to journey into acting what made you realize it was the part for you yes can i actually tell you the first moment i realized i wanted to act yeah yeah go ahead you can so I was with my cousin, I was like four or five, and we were watching Keenan and Kel, do you know what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, do it. Yeah, and they do a bunch of different sketches, you know, a bunch of different characters. And I literally have a memory of sitting watching TV, like, I'm going to do that one day. <laughs> and I've never looked back, I've never changed my mind. I've considered everything, I've considered other things, but there's nothing I've ever felt passionate about except act acting. And when I grew up, I felt like the more I got into it, the more I learned, the more I just knew it was for me. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Kenan and Kel, yeah. that's actually an old, yeah. an, old, I know. an old series. Yeah, I feel like it went for me. It went from having fun. And I still have fun now, but like why I wanted to start having fun and then also exploring different things, telling different stories as well. I want to be a part of telling big stories, important stories. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, can can you can you tell us can you tell us something else that you know something that we don't know about you something the fans or the viewers should know about you that we don't know? Yes. So, I would say fans, viewers. I just go by my first name, and it's pronounced Raya. If you have any struggles with that, think of Mariah, but Raya. I'm just a one namer like Zendaya. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, you know, I, I really I really had a little bit of hard time getting to Yeah, I was like you said yeah. it right. I, was, I didn't have to correct you. I was like, okay, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Um so uh what message, you know, we I have had a, a bunch of, you know, fans, you know, 
messaging me and they'll be like hey we want to do acting do you have any tips uh, any tricks for us any way that you any advice that you would like to give us but you know I'm in no position to give that kind of advice because I haven't been there. So um, what message would you want to give to the fans and startup actors out there who just, you know, want to start doing acting just like you? Yes, I would say in my experience, I've had a lot of people tell me like, it's not possible, like you're dreaming too big, you need to quit and give up. Please do not let anybody make you quit. If that's something you're passionate about or you want to do for the rest of your life or just something you even enjoy, like a hobby, please continue to get into it. Don't let anybody stop you from that. And then I would say start small. You don't have to expect to get an agent at first. Take time. I know when you want, at least me and my experience, I just wanted to get to it. But I realized when it comes to acting, everybody has their own journey and you have to go at your own pace. I would say get into some classes, you know, learn the basics. There was a point in time I didn't even know what slating was. <laughs> so it's like I've come so far from that. So I would say classes, training, and then when you feel like you're ready, try to get you an agent, move from there. But constantly practice, do what you can to better your skills. And please, please, please never give up. Don't let anybody make you give up. Mm, awesome awesome i love that i love that so um Raya, if if you were to pick um a road trip buddy from the cast from the rest of the cast oh you get to pick one, one okay so be be careful making this choice so if if you had to pick <laughs> if you had to pick <laughs> one road trip buddy who would it be okay if i had to pick a road trip buddy i really love all the cast but I'm gonna have to go with Leron, the one who plays my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. He, he, yeah, he'll just be laughing the whole time. <laughs> he's really, he's really cool. He's really cool. So, um, yeah. Today's I, his birthday, actually. Whoa, whoa, happy birthday yeah. to him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, I think for me, that, that would be, that would, that would be yesterday. Oh, okay. Is it, um, is it Sunday over there? Yeah, it's Sunday. Oh, it's like, it's okay. like three. It's like three a.m. It's three a.m. over there. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, you are dedicated. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'd be up late, but I don't be doing interviews at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love what I do. I love broad TV. So. Yeah, and also I want to tell you, you do such a great job. I've been watching the interviews with the other cast. You do a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, mm -hmm. Raai, thank you so much for coming on Bright Universe. It's yeah. such an honor. Like, I would, I would love to, you know, have you anytime in the future. I and I hope. Do you, do you plan on being on more Bright TV shows in the future? It just depends on if they ask me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this seriously, this this uh, won't be. I, I'm asking this as a question. This won't be the last time, you know, yeah. we see you, you know, on. Uh on on a film definitely not your girl is still working i got a lot more to come so if you if you're a fan you know you can follow me on instagram check out my youtube because i am gonna be doing this for the rest of my life honestly mm, your youtube is so fun don't worry uh we're going to people are going to check that out you, you guys if you are watching this right now you should check out it's just check out our youtube how youtube is so fun it's just it's still the same you know the same name uh -huh. uh, is still just um Raya, so you can go ahead and check it out. So Raya, thank you so much for joining us on the Bright Universe. It's an honor having you here. I would love to have you back here anytime, any day. Of so of course, just invite your girl and I will be here, okay? Okay, so thank you so much for joining and I will see you next time. So bye bye. Thank you, bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.